Hello guys, what's up and welcome to the new tutorial from the uh, SketchUp Work Studio. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can create some floor plan completely graphical in SketchUp. So, first of all, you need views in SketchUp. So, how you can activate it? If you click on the view toolbars and go downside and check out the views option, you can activate it very simple and easy. I'm going to switch between the cameras and you can see what really happened when I change it out. I want to use isometric view in here, so I'm going to click on the uh, isometric or top view. For this project, I need top view. So I'm going to click on the camera parallel projection and this is my floor plan in here. Something like this can be good. So click on the uh, paint bucket in here and now you need to stylize your design and floor plan. I downloaded this floor plan from the 3dwarehouse.com. So click on the styles option in here. Click on the edit mode. I first of all turn on the model axis in here. Go to the edge setting. Reduce the profile to the one. Turn on the depth of queue, extension, and endpoints. All of them can help you to create some graphical map and plan for yourself. Four per for it and one for profile. So go to the face setting this time turn on the ambient occlusion But before you do this job click on this option in here display shading using all same And you can see what really happened These type of graphical plans can be really good if you want to show some uh, a Special thing only for your clients or employees. So something like that can be acceptable I want to click on the ambient occlusion in here, increase the intensity and the distance, something like that. So everything is fine. Go to the uh, background setting, turn off the uh, sky, turn on the background, use the uh, color for your background. Some type of color like this can be really interesting, something like that. And finally, when you do this job, you can click on the uh, watermark setting. Add your brand or logo very simple and easy to it. So you need to click on the add watermark and it support all type of formats for your logo. Go to the modeling setting, model axis is off. So I'm going to come back. After all of these changes, remember to click on this option, which name is update the style with changes and everything will be safe for you. Click on the scene option in here, add scene in this place. It takes you to the scene number one. Everything is fine. Now go to the shadows bar in here. Turn on the sun shadowing system. Use the uh, AM setting. And your clock is 8.30. Something like that. And for example, it's something like 24, 1, like this. And this is your floor plan right now. You can change the uh, sun angle by the uh, seasons and months. It completely depends on you how you want to use it. I prefer to use this type of shadowing system because I think it can be really interesting for me. Everything is fine. I can increase the uh, darkness and shadow or I can increase it. Very simple. I want to increase it to the 60 and increase light option to the 90. Use sun for the shading and from edges. So when you turn on the from edges, all the edges will be create some shadows. So I don't want it. I'm going to close it in here and everything is fine. Right click on the scene number one and click on the update in here. Selection tool, turn it off. Take your camera someplace like that. Update it. And now scene number one activated for you. If I orbit and rotate in my environment, if I click on the scene number one, everything will be come back on the uh, default mode. So click on the file option, export to the graphics. It takes a bit time. And after that, you can pick up your desktop, use the JPG format and type floor plan like this and export. Very simple and easy. When I go to the desktop in here, I have floor plan in this place. And this is my final overview about my project. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If this tutorial is useful for you, please like and subscribe our YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed this, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your time and goodbye.